Ever get the feeling like we're constantly told to be doing something? Always on, always hustling, right? Exactly. But what if I told you there's a philosophy out there that says, hey, maybe try doing a little less? Now that's an idea I could get behind. Right. Well, it's, it's called Wu Wei, and it's a core principle in Taoism. Basically, it's about achieving more by aligning ourselves with the natural flow of things instead of constantly trying to force our will on the world. So not just plowing through our to-do list, but more like going with the flow. Exactly. And today, we're diving deep into Wu Wei, using Taoism's secret as our guide to explore how this whole doing less thing can actually lead to more effective leadership and a more fulfilling life overall. Sounds intriguing, but also a bit counterintuitive. I mean, we live in a world that constantly tells us to be doing, to be productive. So how does this Wu Wei idea fit in? That's the fascinating thing about Taoism. It challenges our conventional thinking. Hmm. And this excerpt from Taoism Secret really highlights that, especially when it talks about Wu Wei in the context of leadership. Like, imagine a teacher who can maintain a calm and orderly classroom without being overbearing or constantly barking orders. I've definitely had teachers like that where you just naturally felt respected and eager to learn. It's like their presence alone commanded respect. Right, and the excerpt emphasizes that it's not about being passive or letting things descend into chaos. The teacher is still in control, but they're guiding with a light touch, trusting in the natural order of things. So how do they do that? How do you cultivate that kind of effortless control? Well, the excerpt goes on to compare it to gardening, which I thought was super relatable. Oh, absolutely. I've definitely overwatered my fair share of plants. Me too. And that's kind of the point. When we try to control every little detail, when we micromanage, it's like we're overwatering those plants. They end up weaker, more susceptible to disease. Exactly. And the same goes for people and systems. The excerpt suggests that by trying to exert too much control, we actually stifle creativity and growth. So if trying to force things is the issue, how do we know when to act and when to step back? Right, where's that line? That's the art of Wu Wei. It's not about being passive, it's about discerning the right action at the right time. So it's less about doing nothing and more about aligning your actions with the natural flow, kind of like a surfer riding a wave. Okay, so instead of paddling against the current, you're looking for the current and writing it. You're working with the natural force instead of against it. Exactly. The excerpt gave an example of a leader who embodies Wu Wei by empowering their team to self-organize and find their own solutions rather than dictating every single step. That makes a lot of sense. It's about trusting in the team's natural abilities and letting them flourish. And that idea of trust is central to Wu Wei not just trust in others, but also trust in the natural order of things. Trust that things will unfold as they should. That's a tough one, especially in our go, go, go world, isn't it? It really is. So where do you see the potential for a little more Wu Wei in your own life? Ooh, that's a good one. Maybe approaching my to-do list with a little less intensity, allowing myself to be more present and less focused on checking things off. What about you? You know, I think Wu Wei could be a game changer in creative work. Instead of forcing ideas, it's about creating the right conditions for inspiration to strike. Giving yourself permission to be still, to let ideas percolate organically. I like that. Right. And I think the excerpt hints at something really profound here. What if embracing this idea of doing less could actually be the antidote to the burnout and overwhelm so many of us are facing these days? It's a powerful thought, isn't it? That maybe by letting go of the need to constantly control, we can actually tap into a deeper well of creativity, wisdom, and effectiveness. Exactly. It's not about being lazy, it's about working smarter, not harder. And who knows, maybe by embracing a little Wu Wei, we can unlock a whole new level of potential, both in our personal and professional lives. Well said. Food for thought. Maybe it's time we all tried doing a little less. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into Wu Wei. We hope it's inspired you to explore this fascinating philosophy a bit further. Until next time. See you then.